Ken, I guess, what do you take out of an exhibition game like this? I mean, or, or any exhibition game in general? Is it looking for particular how players react to the... The key things we were looking for tonight is to execute some things that we, we've been working on in the last month on both ends of the court to get uh, to get guys some minutes that have never played here in a game situation. And third is to try to stay injury free because <laughs> we, uh, we were just banged up going into the game. And I think we accomplished all three things. Um, some young guys, new faces, making some nice contributions. Obviously, Lad, Lacey, a bunch of different guys you were able to get playing time. What, were your, what was your reaction? All in all, I thought our, our kids that have not played here before did a good job. You know, again, uh, like you just mentioned, uh, Dexter, uh, Mike, Devante, DJ did some good things, got into foul trouble, but, but he did some good things. So I thought we made some strides tonight. Obviously, you never want injuries, but you never want injuries, but having those young guys be able to maybe play a little more, uh, is that, is that actually, might not be a good thing in the long run? Yeah, I mean, it can help. It, it can help to give them some minutes and give them some experience. And Again, we know what Abe, Faisal, and, and Reggie can do, and hopefully they're back sometime, but Again, we know what they can do. We need to find out what some of these other guys can do in game situations. And tonight helped us be able to evaluate them. Any of those guys in danger of missing the opening? Or... Yeah, at this point, yes. All, all of them? At this point, yes. Hopefully that'll change. What do you hope to take away from this game, Coach? It's... Mainly that the, the younger guys get some confidence. I say younger guys, but uh, again, I'm going to go back to guys that have never played here in Beasley in a game situation. And, and now they're playing college basketball at this level in our program. And they're feeling confident about their contribution and, and how they play. And confident in their teammates. We had a lot of guys share the ball and do a good job in a lot of areas uh, on both ends to be, be a team. And we have to be a team to be competitive. Any more questions for us? Uh, so any of those uh, three injuries more serious than this one? Probably Abe, because I think he's still, he, he, he's in a boot. Okay. And we have not received the CAT scan, their results, so. Uh, at this moment, I'd say his is probably the most serious. But those other guys have been out almost a week, and uh, there was no way they were either either one of them were, was going to be able to play tonight. So I have to wait and see. When did uh, Abe get hurt? Was it practice? Two days ago. So it was two, two or three. In practice. Yeah, in practice. I think it was Thursday. Okay. Having only one exhibition, is that... Uh, we had a scrimmage we could go against Montana. Okay. So therefore you can only play one exhibition. So you feel prepared enough, I mean obviously a few more practices going in, but you feel prepared enough going into that opener with Gonzaga? No. <laughs> okay. No, they're too good. They're too good to feel prepared for at this moment. We will go in there and do the best we can, but we know what we are up against. And uh, you need more than just a scrimmage in a game against Lewis and Clark State to prepare for, you know, Gonzaga. Sure. But we will uh, work hard this week and prepare ourselves the best we can and see what we can do.